Hello everyone and welcome back to another Movie Fridays here on the channel where today I will be discussing Christopher Robin. Now recently I made on my website an article where I talk about how live action series have kind of ruined like the original genre like how some cartoons or animes from the past or currently present or whatever have been remade, remastered to a live action series and they have not been pretty good in the way they've looked so far. I mean, say for example, just recently Funimation's made a new live action series of the Assassination Classroom anime and yeah, my god, it's it looks pretty bad. Now, th now there are some good live action ma remakes to cartoons and stuff and I had to say Christopher Robin is actually a pretty good live action movie. I really did not expect it was going to be a good movie. I thought it was going to be weird like how like usually like I said live actions are not that great but this one actually for some reason this one actually fit to a certain degree. Now, what I mean by fit to a certain degree is that the good thing about Winnie the Pooh was the fact that there was no, like, you know, major powers or, like, forces type of thing where it's, like, it kind of, like it could e not necessarily easily tr transition to a live action, but it made a lot of sense in some case. Because when I first was started to watch it, like, it kind of, it kind of looked okay. I mean, one thing that I did not understand, which kind of, I guess, not necessarily ruined it for me, but um, the owl and the rabbit, I don't know their names, but for some reason, them two were the only, like, real-life 3D type of models, where, as it pertains to Pooh, Piglet, and everybody else, they're, like, dolls. It didn't make sense aesthetically because it's like to me, you should have all the char all those characters look the same, and to have like two of them different, like more realistic, it doesn't make any sense. Supposed to, they're all supposed to be the same. They're all supposed to be from hundred acre wood woods and stuff, and it like to have them look different than compared to the others where they're kind of doll forms. It didn't really make any sense. But one thing I really say was that they really did, in this movie, present the story very well. The story was about, you know, Christopher Robin, you know, starting off, like, you know, as a kid with Hundred Acre, living at the Hundred Acre Woods with everybody. And I really did like the fact also starting off and throughout this movie that they made it into, like, almost like a book. Like, you know, it, and they had, like, some book form anime like book formed animation and stuff like an old classic book and it really did make it look good like it was like an old classic tale so it kind of really was interesting but this kind of started off really with Christopher Robin being a young kid and then transitioning to an adult you know and it really did a lot of bring a lot of real life aspect to it whereas like you know as a kid your imagination is wild your imagination is free. You could think of anything. And pretty much, you know, with living in the Hundred Acre Woods, it's like you think as a kid, you know, it's your imagination. But in reality, it was a little, it was real in the movie. But um, at, but as he grew up, he started to, like, you know, somewhat forget about it and such. And it kind of, he kind of hit real life in a sense, you know, going through going through the war, which... Interestingly enough, they put the setting right around World War II when he was an adult. Uh, he got drafted to the war, and then he kind of um, he was able to he was able to get out of the war freely at least. <clears throat> Sorry, he was able to you know at least fight enough long enough to at least survive the war, where he actually met a his met a wife and actually had a kid. 
and it was it was an interesting you know de- character development and it re- oh, it really did connect in a sense to a real life type of aspect which was very 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 cool and very very interesting now one thing i will say is that i do appreciate the fact that they kept kind of winnie the pooh or pooh what a or pooh what they named him i guess or yeah is that they kind of made them sound the same they still made the, they still made those characters sound the same which was pretty nice to kind of at least get the connection of like you know of pa- of the past and it was really really good in a sense um one thing um also i will say is that i really i guess find i found it a little cheesy in a sense kind of near the ending and in like you know the good guy which was Christopher Robin was able to you know um spoil alerts for the ending um he was supposed to present a thing where he was going to save jobs and save, you know, people from, you know, not getting fired from the company that he's working with. And T- Pooh and everybody else actually went into, I guess, sort of n- real life London because the setting is more British style type thing. And he was able to find Christopher in time with his um kid who was actually trying to help him get his paper to... um paper to him before like you know he gets fired or something and it was a little cheesy at the end you know how he was able to save everybody's job you know make things a little better I suppose and kind of defeat the bad guy which was like I guess the CEO's son where he pretty much did nothing while he made Christopher Robin do everything and such which yeah, it was a kind of cheesy, but it was it was it was nice to see. It was at least nice to see. Um I will say this though, a part of me would still rather prefer to see this as a cartoon. I mean, like I said, they did well making this into a live action. I didn't expect to at least enjoy it as I did, but I would still rather prefer this as a cartoon. Because of like you know the it felt more towards child aspect while this one had I don't know what was the target audience, you know, maybe it was for families, and I guess I could kind of see that in a little bit, but like you know, waiting to poo as a child when it was a cartoon, it was made for you know children and stuff, but this one we kind of I don't really know where the target audience was is it i kind of i guess i could say i kind of felt it was more towards families um not just kids but you know the mom and dads where it's like you know you you kind of lose track of your mad you lose track of your childhood and you kind of at least should have some fun in a sense so um it was kind of interesting and i didn't i kind of it was kind of not good in a sense. I guess it was a little of a knocker for me because it's like I wondered who was their main primary target audience. But I would say overall, without the without that and without you know having the the Winnie the Pooh cast character aesthetics a little off, this was really a good movie. I really did like how they presented Christopher Robin's story. I really did how I really did enjoy how, you know, who kind of I guess progressed as well in a small sense, where it's like he was with Christopher Robin all the time. He was happy, and then when you know he left, and you know all his friends got lost, you know you kind of wonder what you're gonna do next, and. He kind of took steps forward, which he never really done. So it was an interesting character development with them together, and it was pretty. It was a pretty emotional type of thing, and it was really enjoyable to see. Now, again, also too, like I said, another knocker was, like I said, I rather prefer seeing a cartoon 
than live action, but they did make it work well. Um, I would seriously recommend watching this movie if you have the time. You know, if it's a if it's a, if it's on a special day in a the movie theater, you should definitely go see it. I really do recommend watching that movie. It really was an enjoyable movie to see, and I hope if you guys do see it, enjoy it yourselves as well. So thank you guys for listening in to my review on Christopher Robin. I really hope you guys appreciate it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Christopher Robin yourself, if you guys see it, or at least tell me what you believe. Like, do you prefer cartoons over live animation or live action? Because, it, like I said, most of the time it was not great. But in this case, in some small cases, it does work very well. So thank you guys for listening in. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a nice day.